So when you're grounded, what else can you do? I started scouring trade a plane and looking to see what was really out there and I found great planes that you can get for under $65,000. I wanted to find some reasonably priced airplanes but also airplanes that didn't look like they were a mechanical nightmare or didn't look like they were a bundle of problems and actually there were several out there. So starting from the lowest, the first one I found was a 1971 Grumman General. These are not bad little planes, but look at that price, 30,000 um, bucks. And the plane actually looks like it's in decent shape. Um, the engine hours are pretty reasonable. And it looks like if you wanted to get an airplane for under 50 grand, this would be a real good contender. So the next plane is a great plane. All of you I know who have flown it, it's a Cessna 150. And also it's $32,900. Uh, it's a 77. And this plane looks like it's in pretty decent shape. The one thing with, with a 150 is that you can always sell it when you're done with it. This one, although the interior looks a little bit dated and a little teeny bit ragged, it looks solid. It doesn't look like anything's broken. It does have ADS-B out, even though it has that old transponder. I think the ADS-B out um, is uh, the rear, um, that rear beacon light. Now, the best part about this airplane, 384 hours since major overhaul. So you basically got a brand new engine for $32,000. You can get this thing and time build away and um, uh, you know, and just really enjoy it. The best thing is you have an airplane. So the next thing is the Piper Tomahawk. Here's a 78 Tomahawk for $34,000. I've never flown in these planes, um, but it's an airplane that looks like it's in pretty reasonable shape for $34,000. And where else can you get a decent little airplane for 34 grand? Um, it actually has a good transponder. It has a really good radio in it. Uh, the KX-155, and this plane looks like it's in actually pretty decent shape. The engine hours are a little high though, 1980. You are taking a chance with it, uh, but again, at that price point, you really can't argue with that. So here's something that doesn't really look so good, but it actually is pretty clean. Again, it's a Cessna 150. The engine hours on this plane is 125 and it's a factory rebuilt. At $34,000, you're getting a brand new engine and you have a time builder, which is almost ready to go. Okay, so as we climb up to $40,000, there's a 1968 Piper Cherokee. These planes you can buy and sell all day long. Uh, the engine hours are only at 415 hours and that is around 40K. That's a pretty solid price point. Now, if you're looking for something kind of like a collector's item or something really cool, this is a 1956 Beechcraft Bonanza. And although this isn't really my taste or my cup of tea, um, this is a really cool nostalgic plane that you can get for 50 grand. With this airplane, you can get something really vintage, really cool, and you can go around at Bonanza speeds. The engine hours are also super attractive on this plane at 570. So you've got, uh, you got plenty of life in it and you can really upgrade this plane to make it look really, really, really cool. But there's a Cardinal RG, it's a 71 RG and it's $51,000, or I'm sorry, 53.5. So you're gonna ask what's wrong with it? Well, the engine is right up at that point where it's gonna need to be, um, it's gonna need to be looked at. Um, but other than that, the plane looks pretty solid. It has the same interior as mine, the old interior, but it looks really clean. There's nothing ragged about it. And also, if you look at the panel, it's solid. I mean, it's old, but it's, uh, it's definitely solid. You can buy this for 53.5, um, you know, and hopefully you'll have some more life in the engine and you can upgrade the interior as you go. And at the end of the day, you're certainly gonna be able to get all your money out of it if you decide to sell it. And if you don't, you're gonna have one really nice Cardinal. Look at this, a great, beautiful, and I sound like a plane salesman now, but a great, beautiful Cessna 150. It's a 78, but this thing is clean as they come. It is only $57,000. So the engine hours on this aircraft are 
30. I mean 30 hours. So basically you've got a brand new engine in this thing and it's a super clean little Cessna 150 and you could build your time. You probably won't have to put a penny into this plane and it looks like it'll give you lots of years back and when it's time to sell it, you can always sell a Cessna 150. So there are still plenty of planes out there that you can get for under $60,000. And I know airplanes are hot and they're expensive, but there's also something very special about owning your own plane. And I just want to encourage people and let people know it still can be done. So I hope you learned something. I hope this helped. And if you are over 50, get up, get off the couch and get into the air and go buy an airplane. <laughs>